Hello my friends, this is Regular Slasher and thank you for watching my videos as usual. Yeah. Today I find this video clip that I want to make an important one because all in all at the end of the day what I am going to talk about is about the growth, personal growth of your Kenjutsu progress. Yeah. And many months, many years, or even decades that you've been practicing, for example, a Kenjutsu art form, but something you want to tell yourself that it's off. Something is off, but I couldn't pinpoint it. Believe me, there are so many cases like that, and I want to get to the point. What is the cause? And this is probably some things that your sensei or your sensei are not willing to tell you. In fact, this is one of the crucial points that you want to correct about your Kenjutsu progress, but you want to ask your senpai or your sensei, but these asshats are not willing to tell you with the main probable causes that they feel threatened by you and to me I find this unacceptable so might as well tell it tell you about this no matter how hard or a bitter pill to swallow but without further delay here goes yeah in Iaido so there is one important aspect of in fact it's the very first element in um Iaijutsu technique it is called the Nukitsuke yeah. What is a nukitsuke? A uh, nukitsuke is like making that hard decision that you need to use your weapon at any time to dispatch something or someone that you want to dispatch. Um, I'm talking metaphorically of course, but let me grab one of these to try to prove a point. And the moment you rip the koiguchi and then try to make the first cut right sounds like that but usually what people are doing is fully drawing the sword pushing it a bit back and then actually doing the nukisuke which is really a mistake to me I think but your senpai or your sensei seem to be unwilling to tell you the correct way because they just want you to stay below them and I think that's more fucked up because you're there you actually pay them to teach you the right thing but your senpai and your sensei just not willing to tell you because they just want you to stay below them alright so I'm angry about it and man I could fuck these people up but no matter I'm going to tell you the correct thing um, as early as possible I would like you to be aware about this one so that it will not become a bad habit that will be very hard to undo in the future yeah. so for the proper nukitsuke what I would like you to do is this, this. the moment you rip the koiguchi and then you feel the tip coming out you don't want to pull it out yet instead you want to do a sayabiki obviously I can't do that here but you, you can always practice it in your dojo feeling um, that's what they would like you to do anyway but the point is that as soon as you rip the koiguchi and then slowly pulling out you don't want to do this but you want to do this I can't do it inside indoors but if you want to have some some of my short clips for my Instagram um, you can always do a reference out there and that's a point so to repeat the moment you rip your koiguchi you don't want to draw your sword this way but instead you want to feel to the point of your kisaki or kensen and to a sayabiki in one. Alright? 
on top of that it means that you just made it clear that you mean business when trying to dispatch something or someone and with that your yaido becomes more meaningful and hopefully you could get a point what they want to come across and that's it yeah. another thing though that your senpai or your sensei are not willing to tell you about is the proper use of your core regular slasher what does it mean using the proper or uh, proper using of the core let me give you an illustration when you slash something sorry about that the common mistake is this when you do this when you do the arms when you do the technique with just the help of your arms alone the tendency is that you need to bring your body that way which is very wrong in fact um, it's because you do not engage your core and if you do engage your core your your body posture will maintain after the technique you will maintain your proper posture like so if you engage your core before swinging you have proper what's this sword stopping power not just with your fingers or the arms but also with the core because I do believe that they provide the stability that you need and then the thing that your senpai or your sensei does not want to tell you is that you want they want you rather to keep using your arms only because they know that it's a very hard habit to break later on and from the start and on the get-go I might as well tell you that the proper way is to engage your core first and then slash properly and then use your core not only the arms to provide stopping power all right yeah because the common mistake is this because if you only use your arms alone you'll end up dragging your body also and it's like you're going it's going to appear that you have no control over your body or over your weapon or anything like that um, from this point I want you to be aware that you need to engage your core first first of all even in stationary position and then for doing that and believe me your swordsmanship will improve albeit by a single notch but it's going to matter in the years to come because because you you need to see it for yourself man and the problem with this Aside from the things that your senpai or your sensei do not want to tell you is that your priorities are not straight Because you want to show to the social media community right away that you have this thing going on without Knowing the reason behind why you're doing example Kenjutsu or such a thing um, from the get-go I would like you to be aware of the fact that wielding a weapon is not at all that easy and what social media is going to do is that they twist your mind into thinking that the moment you pick up a weapon some electrical charge will pass through you like in that anime and all that bullshit but I kid you not it's not that way in real life so I want you to scratch that thought and let's all be realistic so that from there we can get a point of we, we sorry what part are we on the Kenjutsu progress as well as beyond right so that's it that's it I'm going to wrap up here and that's it my friends and if you like what you just saw don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and Especially if you click the notification bell You'll be the very first to know that I have uploaded another video that contains information 
that could help you in the future. Yeah. This is Regular Slasher signing off. Thank you. Much love. And domo arigatou gozaimashita. Yeah. And cut. Ma, kondo ni kondo no doga wa desu ne. Etto. Nongo ni hanaseba ii in janai ka na to ore mo omotte ru nda kedo dou ka na. Etto, mo shi yo kereba komento ni ongu toroku kudasai ne. Onegai shimasu. Yeah.